So where where in the country do you live, Connie? Where, where in do you, Arizona. You in live Arizona. in Arizona. Okay, gotcha. Where what do you like doing there in Arizona? What's your favorite things to do? Well, we have um, just going around town. We have it's a small town, and we have a big, huge fountain in the middle of it, and there's restaurants all around it. So I like going there, just yeah. sitting around watching the little uh, birds in the pond and. A lot of people and kids. It's fun. It's very nice. What What is your assistive technology that you like using the most? What I go back and forth between Zoom text, um, but I also go back and forth between Windows Magnifier because I can do that both quickly depending on the document. So because sometimes my Zoom text automatically goes into voice, and you know, no matter how much I set it up, is sometimes. But I go back and forth. And what do you use on the phone? What do you use? I use, um, well, I use an iPhone because it's more accessible. And then I'll click it twice for Zoom if I need okay. it bigger. But I have, um, on my for my vision, I'm low vision, I need the white background with the black text. So that gives me more light based on what my diagnosis is. So right. I use a lot of that, you know, everything with a white background. Um, what do you like to eat? Well, what don't I like? <laughs> I do love pizza. I'm a pizza total fanatic. I love anything with pasta and I love Mexican food. Mm -hmm. Chips and salsa. Oh my God. I could sit there for hours, unfortunately. So on your menus for all, do you use the favorites functionality? I do. I keep two or three of my favorite places in there just so I can click it real quick. I have done um, where I've done the uh, zip code and then sometimes it comes on and there's an overlay over it. Like the restaurants are double you know, so I tend to find one and then save it in the favorites. I did that today and it was like, I had to wait. It could have been the Wi-Fi, but I had to wait for it to clear up. So now I just go by the restaurant name and does it, cause there's probably not too many here, but there are, they're all in my phone, the favorites. And I had earlier, probably a couple years or so ago, I had to use the light because nobody was coming towards me. I was sitting there waiting for my friend to show up and Nobody. So I just pulled the light off and they finally came over. <laughs> You're the first person oh, to know that's used the waiter alert. Yay. It works. You I know. And I used it. Yeah. Because not because only because I needed help. I could see, you know, yeah. what the stuff was, but nobody, everybody was like, I'm a ghost. <laughs> you know, That did caught their you, attention. <laughs> did you turn it on then put your hand up high or just next to you? I did. It? You did. And then the manager walked over and he said, are you okay, ma'am? And I said, yeah, but nobody's, it was in, I think an Applebee's in Scottsdale. Nobody's paying attention. Uh -huh. I'm sitting right here waiting for a lady from church and no one, they keep passing me by. So he waited on me and I said, well, good. I am glad I had my handy light. How long have you been using menus for all? Since it started. So at least a year. I know I've been, cause I've been in Arizona since September 22 um, here in this city, but I've used it since I've been here. In, since 2022. And I used it in California when I lived there too. And can you tell us something that you've been able to order that was just really yummy that you probably wouldn't have found otherwise if you hadn't had menus for all and been able to read the whole menu? Well, for me, it was because I was in a dark restaurant in Scottsdale. It's a city near. And I couldn't really see what the, one of those really like dim restaurants that I don't like. And so I had to look at my phone because it was bright. It was like, that was the biggest thing. And I wanted to look at the sides. I we were getting a plate of nachos to share, but I wanted something else. So on the app, I could see the sides that I couldn't literally see in the restaurant because it was too dark to see. I was <laughs> like, I couldn't even hardly see my food, you know, but I used the app and my sister was helping me. And she's like, do you want broccoli? Do you want that? Nope, that's too healthy. Do you want this? Do you want that? So we were both looking at the menu and she could see fine. <laughs> so um, can you tell us like, a story about how you've used menus for all that was kind of surprising or interesting or or how it used to be in the past before you used our app? Oh, uh, well, for, for me, um, I would get a menu and I'd have to have my glasses with me if I knew I was going out or my um, magnifier right here, you know, so mm -hmm. with the light. So I would have to use my glasses and that. And then once with a menu. So once this came out, I was like, OK, well, I don't have to carry everything. You know, because I can also with iPhone, you can tap it and it'll enlarge. It'll do the zoom effect. So if I needed that. 
So that's been for me, that's been a godsend because sometimes you, you go in a place and I can't always carry two pieces of things. My purse won't fit or I have to carry a bigger pose to have everything with me. And I sit there and I'm like, grandma, you know, putting this on, getting my magnifier out, opening the med thing, trying to find stuff, you know, and then my family or whom I'm with will, will usually read it for me. But this, for me, this made me feel more independent because I didn't have to take two pieces. I carry my glasses, but I don't have to have to worry about my magnifier getting broken or anything. And that, for me, it increased my independence because I could order myself. And you would think, you know, it's just people probably take it for granted. I don't know, but I assume because you can do it so easily. But when you can't, you're like 20 minutes just to get your order together because I've got to get this, get the lighting right. The, the text is so small. And sometimes I couldn't even see it with that. I always had to get some help, you know, but not with this. This gave me the independence, you know, so I love it. So right. when I heard you guys um, had an issue with it, I was like, no, 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 no. no you got to fix that, Ellen. <laughs> We're working on it. We're I need actually, that, especially if I'm moving an hour away. <laughs> yeah, we're even we're actually even talking to a couple foundations about maybe helping us getting some funding to make sure we're around. Okay. Good. Okay. Anyhow, um oh, shoot. Well, let me ask you one last question. What could we do? Sure, whatever you need. What what could we do to make the app better for you? For me specifically, I would need it inverted. I still use it, but because of my diagnosis, I need light in my eye, mm -hmm. in the iris. So uh, uh, the inverted background with the white and the black text would work better for me. Okay. All right. And do you use yeah, the classic invert? Whole... Do, you, do you use the Apple invert? Do you ever try that? Does that work for you? No. No, because my phone's just set for regular. I never use the invert okay. black. And sometimes the color contrast on here the colors were working for my vision. It was like yellow and different okay. colors. So mine has to just sort the widest background is giving me the more, most light for what so I can see. We would need it white and black would be better. White background and, a, and black would be probably yeah, so simple and easy. And that would be the better for you. That would be me. And I'd like to have that option. Gotcha. You know? okay. Yeah. Okay. So that would be me. That would be the only thing that I would be missing. Okay. All right. But otherwise, I love it. Oh, I know. Because I don't have to carry this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you uh -huh. for, for taking the of time to talk to us tonight. And of course. the second foodie person that's talking to us for Menus for All. We appreciate it. And of course. And um, I'll, we'll say goodbye.